Hello! Welcome to the presentation of the paper entitled Learning and Comprehension of Terrain Representation in Cartographic Design. I will present a learning activity aligned with general competence objective in the academic field of geomatics and surveying. Cartography, today, can be understood as a communication system that includes all the operation of collecting, processing and editing spatial information. A common problem is the fusion of different cartographic sources to make a map. With the objective that the student depend in the understanding and structure of the relief, a didactical activity is presented where the student will evaluate the goodness of geographical information system data reference in comparison with other sources of cartographic information usually used together, such as, for example, DTN. The present activity is designed so that it can be imparted online, helping the current transition from face-to-face -face degrees to online asynchronous modalities in engineering. The teaching learning activity is focused on the subject of cartographic design and production, which is part of the degree in geomatic and surveying engineering. The shown competencies in the screen are the object of the teaching learning process in the methodology exposed in this presentation. Next, I will present the methodology related to the design of the learning activity. During the design of the teaching learning activity, there were considered the criteria established in the literature in relation to the creation of virtual teaching. The resources are free, available in the platform of the National Center of Geographic Information. We will consider three types of datasets. Together with the free geographical resources, the program code compiler will be used as 3D visualization and processing software and as support for the management of the coordinate reference system of the topographic base, the free software the first element are the digital terrain models with 5 and 25 grid spacing in this case. Secondly, the point clouds acquired with LiDAR sensor, which is the base for the generation of the DTM. In this case, the automatic accuracy is less than 20 cm. And finally, the national topograph base at scale 25,000. In this case, we will consider only the contour lines, which maximum admissible altimetric error is 2.5 meters. To illustrate the learning activity, next, there will show an application example. The selected study area to exemplify the activity is Las Medulas. The size of their study region is 16 square kilometers, which allows for a broad analysis and to have areas of different relief and color. Here, it is illustrated the result of the machine of the 3 DTMs that will be used to evaluate the goodness of the contour lines of the topography. By the calculation of the spatial difference among the nodes of the national topographic base ISO lines and the faces of the machine, discrepancy graph are the advantage is that this model are in 3D so that the student can analyze the most remarkable discrepancies. In addition to the graph, it is possible to obtain a statistical analysis to quantify the discrepancies among national topographic base ISO lines. Also, they are not directly related to the specific competencies of the subject. This kind of analysis helps to reinforce basic and general. To promote the critical thinking, the students have to discuss about the difference that cannot be explained by the precision input element. In this area, the differences are systematically higher than 10 meters, so the student can perform a critical analysis and discussion about the causes of those discrepancies. It can be shown that there is a gap at the top of the mountain between the contour lines and the digital terrain model. Overlapping the contour lines with respect to the LiDAR data, it can be identified that the problems are points misclassific, uh, misclassified as terrain when they are vegetation. In a global view, it can be shown that in this area, there is a relation between the problematic areas and the vegetated areas. To conclude the presentation, I will summarize the conclusion. We have presented a novel teaching learning activity that is included in the degree in geomatics and surveying engineering. This activity allows future cartographic professionals to develop competencies related to the critical analysis of different geospatial data for the representation of the terrain. The methodology is fundamentally supported by free resources and software that promote autonomous and asynchronous learning by students, as well as complies with the requirement of reality, economy, and quality established in the literature. Thank you for your attention. For your attention.